for the bantamweight championship. This fight has been amazing so far. Aljo is just so skilled and talented. I mean, that seven-inch reach advantage, he is using it to the T. Just keeping Cejudo away, the leg kicks are beautiful. And Aljo, he's just so calm. He reminds me of he, Leon Edwards. I mean, let's just be honest. He reminds me of Leon Edwards. Just so calm and poised in there. Just just a natural fighter. Now, Cejudo, let's just be honest. This guy's been off for, what, three years the speed, the timing, the rhythm, it's not there. But to, to come back and fight the best of the best, and in my opinion, Aljo is the best in the division, hands down, without a doubt. To come back and fight the best immediately, no tune-up, is a testament to how skilled and talented he is. I thought before the retirement, no one would beat Cejudo. I just thought he was just too skilled and too good. However, he is respecting Aljo on the takedown. Aljo's shooting too much. Three for ten on takedowns. However, Cejudo respecting Aljo, letting him up. Listen, the submission game from Aljo is one of the best. So, Hudo, there's a lot of respect there. Look, a lot of times it doesn't matter if you have a gold medal or not, right? A lot of that has to do with who you know, your connections, because a lot of the best people never make it to the Olympics. And even if you do make it to the Olympics, sometimes you get robbed. Look at Floyd Mayweather. Won easily. He got robbed. Look at Roy Jones robbed. So listen, we don't really want to talk about gold medals here. We want to talk about this championship fight here. Aljo, 3 for 10 on takedowns. And Cejudo, you can see the respect he has for Aljo on the ground. However, I think Aljo is shooting a little too much. He's he's looking good on the feet here. Through three rounds, I have Aljo winning two of them. But he's starting to get a little tired. I think he needs to keep it on the feet, continue to, to work the legs, get Cejudo... Get, get him a, a little heavy on the legs there and then shoot for more takedowns. I think he's overdoing it, and it's starting to look a little sloppy. If Cejudo can put together more combinations, he might steal some of these later rounds. This fight is amazing so far. It's a 50-50 fight, guys. It can go either way. The total is the best bet in this fight because both of these guys are highly skilled. There's not going to be a finish. Listen, yes, Marias did stop Aljo in Brooklyn six years ago but Aljo got a little sloppy he was fighting in front of a lot of his hometown crowd and the reality here is he's a much more experienced fighter and he respects his opponent a lot more I don't see anyone being stopped this is going the distance guys like the video show some love